beautiful, beautiful Blackpool afternoon. And uh, at this, the launch of our latest uh, batch of ADL Enviro 400 City buses. And I'm sure you'd agree they look absolutely stunning in the sunshine here in the shadow of Blackpool Tower. A few people to welcome, as always, our very good friends now from ADL, Richard Matthews, Charlie Miller, Marie Connell, and Caroline Shudemitsa. We welcome all of them from Falkirk to join us in the Blackpool sunshine, which we ordered especially for them, of course. Now then, this morning, uh, you may have seen our marvellous parade of 25 brand new buses for Blackpool, which made its way from Stargate all the way up to the central area. I was very fortunate to be a driver of one of those buses, and uh, it's something that you remember, and it's a part of Blackpool history. And it's a marvellous move for the town to be able to put that parade on this morning. And those of you who were there, I'm sure, managed to get some marvellous footage of it. Uh, there's drone footage and all sorts going on. So uh, we are very fortunate that uh, it was preserved for all time this morning. And again, a beautiful morning on which to hold our parade. So without further ado, we have some very important people to introduce to you. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to our managing director, who is continuing her... Uh, her plight to take Blackpool Transport through her five-year plan. We are now into year two, I think, isn't it, Jane? Um, and what a difference two years makes to a company. Ladies and gentlemen, the Managing Director of Blackpool Transport, Ms. Jane Cole. Thank you, Andy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely proud and privileged to welcome you all here today. And as we officially unveil our 25 brand new Enviro 400 buses. It only feels like yesterday when we were stood here in July last year uh, when we proudly launched 10 um, buses but as you can now see they're out and about on the number 9 route and we have a further 25 that are going on the number 14 route. We said it then and I'll repeat that this is only the beginning of this magical journey. Alexandra Dennis, our partners, embarked on this journey with them and the buses last year they received the highest praise from our drivers our customers and our stakeholders Blackpool Transport were the first operator to introduce a provincial specification for a Euro 400 uh, bus outside London so we're immensely proud that we excuse me <laughs> are now able to introduce a further 25 Today marks the second stage of our investment programme, which is supported by Blackpool Borough Council and the Blackpool Transport Board to modernise our bus fleet and provide buses which the residents of Blackpool can be proud of. Alexandra Dennis have worked with us to deliver a new vehicle specification which surpasses all customer expectations. They've delivered something really special, something that customers can enjoy more of, They've introduced table seating on the upper deck of these buses, allowing children, students, couples and families alike to make better use of their travel time and create social spaces for everybody to enjoy. Our customers wanted USB charging ports on the upper and lower decks, so that's exactly what we've done. Each upper deck has three tables with USB charging points on them. Our Palladium brand is even stronger now. Sometimes people ask me, why Palladium? Well, we chose it because it's a rare and lustrous metal and it's actually used in the catalytic converters um, to remove harmful gases, which means that these buses are really clean. And also the word Palladium resonates with fun, comedy and laughter for which Blackpool is really renowned. So that's why we've gone for Palladium. Our fleet of 54 Palladium buses are now fitted with high-grade specifications which customers have come to expect of that brand. As well as the USB charging points, the buses have Wi-Fi, e-leather seating, wood effect flooring, next stop audio and visual announcements and they are fully accessible. Our partnership with ADL began back in 2016 and since day one we've shared the same vision, to deliver an exceptional journey experience for our customers. As we continue our collaboration with ADL in the coming years, I cannot wait to see what further improvements and developments we can implement 
to continually enhance the journey experience. I want to take this opportunity again to thank each and every one of you for coming here today. I want to thank Blackpool Borough Council, the Board of Blackpool Transport for their continued support. But I want to thank especially every customer and stakeholder who uses our products for continuing on this journey with us. I want to thank Richard, Charlie, Marie and Caroline from ADL. But in particular, I want to thank my fellow director, James, and my amazing team at Blackpool Transport. This is their achievement. They're the people that have made this happen. And I wouldn't be in this position without their dedication, hard work, commitment that they've shown to improving the experience for our customers. Thank you, everybody. I'm now going to hand over to Councillor Christine Wright, the Chair of Blackpool Board. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm absolutely delighted to be standing here today in what is a very exciting afternoon for Blackpool and Blackpool Transport. Today is another positive step along the list of ways that we have transformed our public transport network. If I may take you back 10 years, this town was in a completely different place. Where we are standing right now would have existed then a great cracking gloomy sea wall. The tramway running behind us today uh, was on its last legs, threatened with being decommissioned due to not meeting accessibility laws. And while our buses continued to run, they were old, cramped and not fit for the 21st century. That is what makes this and so exciting. In the years that have passed, some areas of the country have cut bus routes and reduced services and hoped that private sector would take up the slack. Not in Blackpool. In Blackpool, we have invested heavily in our public transport services because we know just how important they are to the community. We have moved with the times to providing better transport service that caters for a growing tourism resort and for a generation that demands more of their buses and trams. And in that approach is working. Blackpool Transport is continuing to thrive, bringing a dividend into the public purse and growing passenger numbers year on year. It was the success which meant that we were confident enough to continue to invest and grow the company, including two new trams to cater for the extension to the Blackpool North Station and this afternoon's launch of 25 more brand new buses. The Palladium buses, which have already been running, have proved extremely popular. They cater for the modern bus traveller and are also more energy efficient and cheaper to run, all of which is a bonus both for the country and for the town as a whole. Not only do they offer a much better service for passengers, but the new buses look fantastic and will provide a modern look and feel to the town wherever they are seen on the roads. With that, I know that you, as well as me, are keen to get on board and take a look round. So without a further ado, I will hand you over to Richard. Thank you, Christine. So I de therefore declare that these buses are now in operation. only an integral part of local life but also stimulate inward investment and attract visitors. We have nurtured and created a deep-rooted partnership here at Blackpool involving teams from multiple disciplines. We have connected across several organisations and functions and have, and have committed to supply the most modern, fuel-efficient 
environmentally friendly and customer focused buses available in the market today. I look forward to working with you all in the years ahead and hope you enjoy today I hope you enjoy today's spectacular launch and be the may there be more to come. Thank you. Guests, it's an absolute pleasure to join you here today on this unique occasion. As Jane mentioned back in uh, July 2016, Jane and her management team shared a vision with us and made a commitment to the local authority, the people of Blackpool, plus the millions of visitors, that they would have access to the industry's very best buses and a fleet no older than five years old by 2020. Today, we have witnessed the next step in that journey, one that will establish Blackpool Transport as a leading provider of public transport services. What a sight to behold this early this morning. 25 ADL Enviro 400 City Double Deckers in striking livery loaded with passenger friendly extras parading down the iconic Blackpool seafront. What we are experiencing today is testament to like-minded teams of people getting, getting connected to take a vision and mould it into a reality. ADL is the UK's most successful bus and coach manufacturer with over 300 years of experience and we are extremely proud to be part of this journey which is radically changing the, Blackpool trans, uh, the transport landscape in Blackpool. I would like to say on behalf of my team it's been an absolute joy to work with the Blackpool Transport Leadership Team supported by the Borough Council and a Transport Authority that are prepared to look beyond the horizon, a team prepared to recognise that quality